This is Doug Caldwell with the University of Florida IFAS, Collier County Extension. This is some of the aftermath of Hurricane Irma, which roared through town, and we have about 4.2 million cubic yards of yard debris to take care of. This could have been minimized. Some of these trees were doomed from the start because A, they were the wrong choice for the site they were planted in, and or B, because they were pruned poorly or not pruned. So we want to share some tips with you so you recognize strong branch architecture and give you some other ideas so we don't have this kind of carnage again. We're looking at a very common site here in Naples, Florida after a hurricane. Irma did a lot of trees and people are going, well, should I save it or should I just cut it down? And we have Ian with Signature Tree <laughs> to help us resolve that. Well, thank you what for having me. Um, well, a lot of people are asking the question, you know, save or remove. And um, I, I think that right after a storm, initially people are fearful of trees. And so I think it's important that we try to preserve the, the canopy that we do have. In this case, restoration pruning is what we would recommend. Restoration pruning involves, first of all, getting rid of the hazards. And then second of all, we're looking at the structure of the tree and what we have to work with. And we want to develop and encourage new limbs to grow and then prune accordingly to develop those limbs. So say for instance, we get some sprouts that start coming out along these leaders here. We want to selectively eliminate a third of the sprouts and we want to leave a third of them alone. And then a third of them, we want to make reduction cuts on them as they develop over time. And then we'll be left again with uh, a natural branch structure. It's important to make proper cuts. You don't want all that splintered wood, so you want to you want to know that so you've got cambium that'll uh, compartmentalize and grow over that injury. Right. I would not remove more than maybe 20% because removing too much from the tree canopy can also push the tree into stress. It takes time, it takes patience. But with proper pruning, this, this tree will once again have a balanced uh, and healthy canopy. Um, I would recommend this tree to be a removal because we have some very large uh, gaps in here where water is going to collect and eventually work its way down and develop rot. And again, even if it was trimmed back and smoothed out, um, the internal damage is still uh, there. This is classic mahogany included bark type growth. You can see here, we had a branch break out and we've got these two branches pushing against each other. The other type of growth habit is where you have a U-shaped crotch where the fibers are overlapping and they're strong. Some tree species are just delinquent trees. They don't know how to grow straight and they need development in their younger years. Trees need to be worked on when they're three to five years old and get a strong central leader. So develop your trees early. Well, Ian, what happened here? This is a live oak. They're supposed to be indestructible. They are. They are. They're pretty tough trees, but in the event of a hurricane, uh, the, the forces are just a little too extreme. A structure in the tree would be proper branch spacing a nice strong central leader which we do have a fairly decent central leader now that this large co-dominant leader has been ripped out uh, as the branch was growing it was squeezing the bark together and then creating a bark inclusion so it's bad having large co-dominant leaders you want it to be less than two-thirds the diameter of the main lead well to minimize the potential for failure here it could be managed with reduction cuts or could eventually be removed entirely over a set of, say, three pruning cycles where you move, remove a third, a third, and then complete removal of that co-dominant leader. Cabling is a system that is placed up in the top two-thirds of the canopy. You basically are wiring two leaders together. And then the other option would be adding some braces, okay, which would be a threaded rod that goes between the two the co-dominant and the dominant leaders, much like a pin in a uh, broken bone would act. 
So what, what's been done with this tree is a, a, a term called lion's tail pruning. And lion's tail pruning is systematically eliminating all the interior growth and all the lower growth. And what that does is it forces all the energy of the tree growth on the outer ends of the limbs. And in a sense, it's like training the tree to fail. And sometimes they just snap under their own weight even without the event of a storm or hurricane. We can raise canopies without doing lion tail pruning. It's important to prune the tree as a whole system. You don't want to just do the bottom of the tree only. If you also make reduction cuts in the top of the tree and also make the, the reduction cuts on the bottom of the tree, you'll get the clearance and you'll get the reduction to keep a more compact canopy. The interior growth actually adds limb diameter. It adds growth onto the thickness of the limb. But we do not want to remove all of the growth in the bottom and center of the tree. Well, well what we have here is a mahogany and it's planted in a small finger island in a parking lot. And it, and the roots don't have the ability to really thrive in that type of soil, so they are very close to the surface, which makes them very vulnerable to tipping. So at some point, a large tree in this uh, finger island here would end up either being removed by a storm or, or just removed because it's causing curb damage. Um, and then it would be recommended that a smaller tree with a different type of species be replaced. So I think proper tree selection is, is really so important to a urban canopy otherwise the tree lifespan is greatly shortened just by choosing the wrong species and placing it in the wrong planting space. In conclusion we're looking at some tips to help you minimize damage to your property and landscape looking at the correct ways to prune no V crotches don't gut your trees that's also known as lion tailing and select the right plant for the right place. Don't get a tree that's going to be too big and try and grow it in a small area. It's going to be prone to wind throw. This is a lot of information and you can review this kind of information at the University of Florida website and also there's a couple of good YouTube videos. Uh, YouTube channel Doug Bug himself on oak tree pruning as well as the correct way to prune palm trees. I'm Doug Caldwell, otherwise known as Dr. Doug Bug, helping you beautify your landscape and protect your environment.